Upon many requests, we're going to make a who or what are you filter for Instagram or Facebook. In this situation, I've done a what's your next destination with a sequence of countries. First of all, you need to download the Spark AR software. You go to sparkar.facebook.com and you press on download. When you press on the download button, the software Spark AR Studio will start. Open Spark AR Studio and create, new, create a new project. First of all, let's add some assets. From our computer, we're going to select all the possible answers. So in my case, all the different countries. Open. And what you want to do is um, create them as a package. So you say texture sequence on the right top part of the screen. And you can give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it countries. I press on all asset animation sequence and I will call it country selector. On the top right I will select uh, randomize and loop and the texture will be the countries as said before. Then we'll add a tra face tracker. You can select add asset face tracker. Press add and select plane. Now using the arrows, you can select the position of the plane. It works to pause the video just to have it correctly, the position. Now we're going to change the size and you can use it with the arrows if you change the top button. If the size is how you like it, you can du duplicate the plane. The first one we call title and the second one we call who, what are you. There will come all the sequence of the countries, all the sequence of the photos. Now we'll have to select the material. That's uh, either going to be material zero or create new material. In this case, material zero, we select flat, choose texture, and I'm going to do the country selector. And there we go. Later we will change the uh, speed of the pictures. But we also want a title. We want the question who, what are you? Or in my case, what's your next destination? So for the title page, first of all, I see that I am not really, that the picture is not really straight. So with the middle button, I can change the, um, the rotation. There we go. Looks much better. All right. So what we want to do is, um, okay, I will first name uh, the material just to keep a good overview. Because the more items you have, the more difficult it can be. Okay, so add uh, first a material for the title. I say new material. I rename it to title mat. And in the uh, texture, I'm going to select new texture, title. That's my title page. Just checking if everything's correct. I have a little trick on adjusting the size in uh, MacBook. If you go to, if you open the photo in preview, you can go to tools, adjust size and change the size to smaller because there is a file size limit for the project. So the smaller the picture, the better. Okay, now the fun part starts. We go to view, show patch editor and we start building the sequence. To add a patch, we can press on add patch on the right bottom part or otherwise press double click or right click. First of all, a screen tap. With the screen tap, the 
the sequence will start. We add a switch. So what we are doing here is to make sure that when the title is visible, the countries are not visible and vice versa. What we want to do, if you follow the, um, the video properly, you have to go to the, to the um, correct um, plane that you've just inserted and then on the right you press on the arrow where it says visible. Then we take another patch that's called runtime, offset, less than, we fill in the lower number 6, loop animation, and from the loop arrow we press random, then we connect it to a round, we go to the animation sequence and we press on the arrow at current screen. Now if we select the screen tab, we press on it and something is wrong. I forgot something. Let's see how we fix this. Um, ah yes, of course, uh, what I can see is I want the loop animation to 0 0.1 duration. Zero point one, and the random, of course, should finish at twenty one because in my case I have twenty one countries or images. Now let's see if that works. Click on the screen. Okay, and now Rome, nice. <laughs> okay, so that works so far. With the less than, you can change the amount of se seconds you want to make it run. But you can make it less or more. Zakynthos. Let's go to Greece. Good. We can always check it uh, with a cable to our phone or using uh, directly the Instagram or Facebook app. And when ready we can press on export, it will calculate the file size and when ready you can either select export file or upload. Anyway, this works only with a screen tab but um, sometimes you would want to make it start whilst uh, recording uh, with the camera. So I go to the camera button on the right and I select create patch. The patch will come on, I will add a delay. I take the lower button of the camera app, which is video recording, and I connect it to the upper arrow of the delay. The delay I add 2 seconds, and now you can remove the screen tap patch. Then I add a pulse, and I select the upper part of the pulse to the reset below. I also select the, uh, the delay to the not and to the current frame of the country selector. And there we go. This is how it looks in the Instagram app. If you like it, put the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos and feel free to try out my new filters on Instagram.